for Full Court Press. I'm here with Matt McCarthy, Quinn Donovan, and Ryan Nichols, and we had some great games this weekend. Heck yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you how did you guys do this weekend, Ryan? Go into your team's game first. Well, we started off on Sunday with um, against Team Meyer. Started off very strong. Yeah. Um, I think we were out 18-6, and then you see the final score, 52-50. Kept it very close, and I think that's something that we need to work on. Yeah, it didn't seem like it was that close. Um, I think um, Anir Bond realized with, like, two minutes left that they were only down four yeah. and then kind of turned, turned it up. He turned it on at the end, yeah. But, I mean, I think he had a great game. I don't think those two point totals show what they did. No, they yeah, they were they kind of carried their team. Yeah, definitely. To clarify, you, you think a two-point win is a close game, correct? Yeah, but, okay. I mean, okay. our Monday night was a little closer. Oh, okay. Yeah. It was one All point. Right. Yeah. 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 But what would you say for uh, Team Schiffman, a bunch of people out there that say you guys have played nobody, which is quite accurate. I mean, yeah. they're right. We haven't, as of right now, we haven't played a top-ten team, but I think it shows that, I mean, we're 5-0. and oh, We know how to win, and that's, that's really all that matters. I think we have two good tests coming up with um, at least Brisson and... Um, What's it? Team Kelly coming yeah. up. Yeah. And speaking of Team Kelly, they had some uh, some big games this week. What did you guys see from them? Uh, well, they t- played uh, Versani this week, and um, Joey Kurtz had an absolute game. I was talking to Zach about it, and he said that Joey's their spark plug yeah. of the team. I mean, I think he's kind of like that for everything he plays. <laughs> it's, but in, it's interesting even to see Team Kelly be so close and score when Zach Walker doesn't have a huge game. That's yeah. just what it's really been all season. I mean, so. Joey was their top scorer with 16. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, uh, of course, Pete went off in that one. So Pete Bersani dropping 27 in the victory for, for Team Bersani, and that's a, it's a good sign for them. I you know mean, that. You see, you see him with 27 points. We also see Brendan McCaffrey with 15 um, where on the street is boxing one against Brendan McCafferty, leaving Pete open for a lot of points. Mm. And he made use of it. And I mean, if you're yeah. gonna, if you're getting boxing one, then you drop fifteen. That's not a bad day, especially yeah. <laughs> especially if your teammates dropping twenty seven. So, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm sure Team Brisani will be inviting more teams to play that against them. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we also had uh, McGinn playing last, and Kevin Flaha putting up twenty eight points. Huge he's showing that he's uh, first round draft pick, and he's well worth that. Mm-hmm. Definitely the best look in a rec ball. Oh, absolutely. Season, the sure. Air Monarchs and his spice headband. Yeah. He's got it all going. Kid's an athlete. Yeah. To say the least. <laughs> and then uh, we had uh, Gilbo absolutely blowing out Croft. And yeah, I, I was really, a surprise. Uh, really shut uh, Croft up on uh, their uh, podcast. <laughs> he, yeah. was, he was mm-hmm. speechless, to yeah. say the least. Yeah, what do you guys think of Team Gilbo so far? Obviously, they're undefeated, I believe, and um, a lot of juniors on that team. I don't think they even have any seniors, maybe. Yeah, no, no but... They're, uh, they're just a deep team all around yeah. every position. They're just pretty solid. I don't know about the this week's power rankings of having them number one. Yeah, I don't agree. With that. I think that Barry should be number one. I disagree with you. Really? At this point, I think Barry's been number one the entire year, and I think with what Gilbo has shown... There's too much depth on that team, too much scoring, and too much defense. Well, we'll find out this weekend they're playing each other. Exactly. This week, this next weekend's a good week for matchups. One two's playing each other, and then us. Is uh, your team we're three? Pl- yeah, we're okay. playing. Uh, no, we're we're four. We're four. Yeah. We're four, and we're playing Pete's team at three. Two so, at nine o'clock for Barry for yeah. <laughs> the Barry Gilbo game. And then uh, yeah, back to back. So let's uh, let's go a little more into that. So what do you guys think? Take your pick for. Uh, the one and two game between Gilbo and Barry. I think Barry. I think Jackson Barry is the best player in this league, and I think that it is very hard to stop him. And I'm gonna go with Barry. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna go with Barry. Also, I had the uh, opportunity to play against Barry this weekend, and uh, even when Jackson's not having a great game, he's still one of the, the best players in the league. I'm that was gonna, a close game, though. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It you was a. It, it was a. Monday. Yeah, it was a fun game. I don't know if this qualifies as an upset, <laughs> but I think I'm gonna take uh, Team Gilbo to. Uh, take down Team Barry this week. I love Team Barry, and I think they're going to be really good. And I, that's actually my championship pick still. But I think okay. Team Gilbo gets them. So do you think Barry, week. you said that Gilbo as an underdog would beat Barry. So do you think Barry is a better team than Gilbo? I think Gilbo is a more complete team. I think Team Barry is a more talented team. And mm-hmm. in the playoffs, they're gonna, their talent's going to take over. But I think Team Gilbo this week is going to take down Team Barry. They have plenty of ball handlers, I feel like, to, to handle Team Barry's press. And yeah. I think uh, that's going to be a great game, though. Yep. Ryan? I agree with Quinn. I don't agree with his pick on the upset. <laughs> but I think Gilbo's a very good team. I think 
Team Barry relies a lot on their press to win games, and Team Gilbo is filled with ball handlers who can break the press, mm. I think. Yeah, Team the captains have really been showing up. Sam had yeah. 20 in their game last week, and Arya had 14. Mm-hmm. And, and you got Gilly, Gilly pouring it in from the three point line. <laughs> is he a three points like this shooter? Is oh, he he's a marksman. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah. I don't know that. So uh, I think you two will have to take yourselves out of the conversation for this game. But yeah. Matt, what would you say for uh, the 3 4 matchup of Bersani versus Schiffman? I don't know. I think uh, Team Schiffman is uh, playing pretty well this season. There's These teams both have like a pretty top-heavy team just with two big guys, it feels like. And um, I think it'll just be a really good matchup between the two big uh, big duos, but I see Team Schiffman taking this one. Yeah. All right. I mean, as the uh, the unofficial manager of Team Schiffman, <laughs> mm-hmm. sure. I, I do have a little bias in this one, a little bit. But I actually think Team Bersani might come up with this one. And uh, Pete's been obviously pouring it in, playing really well. And then uh, Brendan's my guy. He's a great catcher with, on the baseball team. And... Uh, I don't know. I think Team, Team Schiffman's in the market think, for a new. Yeah, we are. Also. I was just gonna say we might need a new book person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like it. Yep. And so let's get into a little bit of an MVP conversation okay. right now. So uh, obviously we got some pretty clear-cut candidates who may not have been the exact same people we thought at the beginning of this year. Some of them are. But uh, so what would you guys say if we had to pick an MVP today? Who would your top guys be, and who would you pick if you had to make one choice? Ooh. I don't want to go first. Um, I'm Jackson Barry all the way. Yeah. He is just too good every week. He's I what is his lowest like 25 or something yeah. like that. And I think he's just he is their team. And I think that I know you could argue Walker too, but he's had some off weeks. Yeah. And I just think Jackson's there every week, and he's just like he just takes over every game. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was that was my top two also is Walker and Barry. It just seems like Walker's been a little uh, more inconsistent than Barry. But even when Walker like he had. 13 points on Sunday, but he came back on Monday with a huge game. So I think they're both very uh, very good candidates, but I would also go with Jackson Berry as of right now. I definitely think we got to keep an eye on Eli Richmond. I mean, yeah. he's been playing really well, and uh, he drops a lot of points. And I do think Brendan McCaffrey, if he was on his own team, really, mm. and he was the guy, with, uh, Pete's obviously a really good kind of Robin to Brennan's Batman, I Ooh, would say. wow. Oh, yeah. I can't believe you. Dang, wow. Dang. Wow, that but, is uh, shots at Pete. I think if Brendan was in the same, like, team as Barry, then uh, he'd be scoring even more <laughs> than uh, than most of these guys. But, yeah, I definitely think Jackson Barry's probably my pick at this point. Um, I also keep my eye on Ryan French because <laughs> his team is rated very low. But um, He had a good week this I week think, with 20 yeah, points, 20 I think. 20 points, yeah. Glad to see that. Yeah. For someone who I haven't seen him put up numbers that I've seen in the past, and I think that's because he's kind of taking the role as a as, facilitator, as the floor general, team captain, mm-hmm. yeah, and doesn't need to put in the buckets. I mean, you basically could put four guys on French on that team yeah, yeah. to defend them. So I mean, if he had some some more talent around him, I think he'd really be putting up some crazy stats. Yeah, agreed. Yeah. Thanks, so. Huh? All right, so a lot to look forward to for this weekend, and. Um, it's a great week this past week. Absolutely.